Many manufacturers recommend that all wiring repairs be soldered. Prior to soldering, it is important to check a vehicle's service information for the specified procedures to follow when performing a solder wire repair. For this task, you will need an electric soldering gun or soldering pencil, 60 to 150 watt rating, rosin core solder, wiring covering, wire clips if needed, and personal protective equipment. Always check service information for proper diagnosis and testing procedures, as well as vehicle specifications and repair procedures. Determine and prepare the wiring splice to solder. Prepare the solder tool for use. Turn on the solder tool. Pull out some of the solder from the roll and touch it to the tip of the soldering tool, which is also called tinning the tip. Once the solder tool is ready, touch the tool to the wire splice. Apply solder to the junction of the gun and the wire. The goal is to heat the wire to the point it melts the solder. Do not melt and drip the solder on the wire. The solder will start to flow. Do not move the soldering gun. Continue to feed more solder into the splice as it flows into and around the strands of the wire. After the solder has flowed throughout the splice, remove the soldering gun and the solder from the splice and allow the solder to cool slowly. The solder should have a shiny appearance. Reheating the splice and allowing it to cool often restores the shiny appearance. Dull looking solder may be caused by not reaching a high enough temperature, which results in a cold solder joint. Note that a cold solder joint will typically come apart over time, creating an intermittent or open connection. Cover the repair with splice tape, heat shrink tubing, or another form of covering. Keep in mind that any area exposed to weather should be covered in heat shrink tubing. 